quarterback 25, Sam Darnold of the New York Jets. I put, at one point last year, I put most of my eggs in the Sam Darnold basket because when he came back, it was about week 10 or so, he had a stretch of, of seven games that were about the easiest I think I've ever seen. Uh, you know, Miami twice. Uh, I can't remember who else was in there. But it, it was the worst schedule. And he failed horribly. I think the Raiders were in there. Um, he was terrible. And I immediately regretted my decision, was luckily able to, to fix it and uh, go get Jameis Winston and win a championship. But it, it, it made me lose faith in Sam Darnold. I know it's tough when you, you miss a few weeks of the season to come back and, and get back in the flow. But still, you got to be better than he was last year. 21 touchdowns, 13 picks, less than seven in attempt, uh, only 3,000 yards on the year. And he, he looked lost at times. That's what's so annoying. You, you watch like the Raiders game, and he was unbelievable in that game. He had some games where he was just pinpoint accuracy, uh, firing it off. And then you watch some games, I don't want to like single out, the seeing ghost thing, I thought that was unfair. You know, it happens. Uh, but you look at games like that, and, and he doesn't look like he's ever played quarterback before. So I have Sam Darnold just on the cusp of being a QB2. I don't think it's unreasonable to take him as your QB2. But I would be hesitant just because of the inconsistency. And a quarterback, too, you want someone who you can plug in, again, on a bye week injury and can get you just a decent amount of points. Sam Darnold's floor is negative points. That, that's what his floor is. So that scares me as a QB, too. Um, so I might wait a few weeks and see if he looks a little bit better um, uh, b b b before I really took a chance on him.